Hi everyone and welcome to another book review. This one is for Camp Foxtrot by Bill Amend. Now this particular edition is just... So Foxtrot, for those of you who may not know, I used to read in the Sunday newspaper. Um, sometimes in the regular newspaper when I could see the comics, but usually in the Sunday paper I would grab it because I loved to read Foxtrot. Um, and plus all the comics were in color in the Sunday paper and the rest of the week it was black and white. So this is a collection of those comics. Now, so there's not a plot line, there's not character development. This particular one, part of this takes place at a camp that the youngest um, Foxtrot boy goes to. I, I think the last name is just Fox. Um, and his name is Jason and he goes to this kind of smart kids camp where it's all science and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a science camp. As you can tell, it is a co-ed. Um, and just remember when you're reading the Foxtrot that this does take place in the about early to mid 90s, I would say. Um, so some of this stuff is a little dated as far as like the use of certain technology and things like that. Especially where you see a computer that's like from front to back is pretty wide <laughs> where now it's thin. So you do get that. Um, so it's just, just comics. The oldest tries out for football in this. Um, it goes through Christmas. It goes through, you know, winter and fall and Halloween and Easter. Um, and so it's just an assortment collection. Um, the other thing is that part of this, the family takes a, a trip. So, so this is Jason. This, it's his family that we're following. This is his friend Marcus, and these are two girls. Um, so Eileen goes to the same school as the boys do, um, and this girl, I can't remember her name. I want to say it's Eileen. No, she's Eileen. I can't remember her name. Um, anyway, she, they meet her at this camp for, sci like, the science camp. But at some point during this book, Jason Fox and his family does go on a camping trip. And one thing that you do learn with watching or with reading these comics is that the dad, Roger, is kind of dim in a way. <laughs> That's the best I could think of to describe it. He just doesn't think things through. So he's not using his brain to the best he can in a way. So for example, he does not pick the best spot for camping, um, especially during, I mean, it's a good spot, but it's a bad time of year. So it's a bad time of, it's a bad spot to go camping when they do. If that makes sense. So, and he just makes bad decisions. Like, and some of the decisions are completely relatable. Like at one point in this particular collection, he, orders this kind of like ab master type of exercise equipment. He's like, I'm going to get fit and do this. And it's just, then he has trouble using it. And then it ends up basically getting thrown away, which in reality, I bet that happens a lot. At least for me, I have done that because <laughs> um, you just want that quick fix, you know? So very relatable content in this. The oldest brother. Um, so the Fox family, you have a mother, um, and the dad, who is Roger, like I said, and then you have Jason, who's the youngest. Paige is the middle child. Um, Peter is the eldest child, and I think Peter is a junior. These kids don't age. No one ages throughout any of these, so Peter is constantly a junior. Paige is constantly a freshman, and Jason is constantly in elementary school, so... I think he's in elementary school. Might be like seventh grade, but I think he's elementary school with much of the age difference between the the um, his older sister Paige and him. The other thing with Jason is he has an iguana, and he likes to pull a lot of tricks on his elder sister. You know, like tossing you know like tossing the iguana or dropping the iguana on her, making his own version of comics with her as the villain. And then he has a lot more respect to Peter, looks up to his older brother, Peter. Um, and so he doesn't really do that kind of stuff with his brother. So you do get that quite a bit. Um, you do see them in, in school quite a bit. One of the things I thought was pretty relatable with Paige was she talks about studying for school. And then you see the section that's in color where she's in these fancy clothing. And she's like, oh, be a deer, get the door. She's in these high-end clothings. But her version of studying for the new school year is trying to get what she wants to look like and the vibe she wants to give off for her new school adventure, new school year. So just take it what it is. It's just a form of entertainment um, and things like that. The other thing is that kind of shows 
that Roger is ambitious but doesn't fully, you know, think things through the way he should is he spent all this money, a lot of money, on um, an art, um, a paint, the, we're, not the easel, but the thing that sits on the easel, um, canvas, <clears throat> excuse me, canvas, and then brushes and paints, and then he's end up, ends up finger painting on it, so um, just, he's just more willing to spend a lot of money. The wife, I can't remember what her name is, is much more strict with the money, like even to the point of controlling the thermostat and things like that, so... Uh, but yeah, it's fun. I'm always going to give this a five star because it's just, it's very nostalgic. Just because I remember always wanting to get to the comic section and trying to sneak the comic section away from my mom before she got to read it because I wanted to be the first one to read the comic. So yeah, <laughs> but very nostalgic for me. So it's, it's always going to be a five star, but that's not for the content. That's just mostly for the nostalgia. So anyway, this is Camp Foxtrot by Bill Amend. So let me know if you've read um, any of the Foxtrot comics, if you remember those um, or anything like that, or what your favorite comic series is to read. So definitely let me know. Until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.